Hi, my little reading buddies. So today we're gonna read Frankenstein. So we're getting close to Halloween. It's time to read some little fun, spooky stories. This is a monstrous parody. It's by Ledwurst the Monster. That's his pen name. His real name is Rick Walton, and the book was illustrated by Nathan Hale. So let's get started. In a creepy old castle, all covered with spines. in two crooked lines. In two crooked lines, they bumped their heads pulled out their teeth They bit the good and gobbled the bad They even tried to devour your dad. They left the castle each night at nine in crooked lines. They yelled. They whined <laughs> The ugliest one was Frankenstein. He scattered people out of their socks. He could even frighten rocks. When he visited the zoo, the animals hid and cried. Boo -hoo. And nobody knew so well how to torment Miss Devell. One bleak and dark and dismal night, Miss Devell turned on her light and whispered, Something is not right. Instead of shrieks and howls and groans, Frankenstein laid still. No moans. Devell screeched, call Dr. Bone, who came, then screamed, and grabbed his phone. And dialed Frankenstein 1-1. Nurse, he said, his noggin's gone. All the other monsters said, It wasn't me who ate his head. Frankenstein was carried off in Dr. Bone's creaky coffin. In a hearse, grotesque and gory, they drove him to the laboratory. When Frankenstein 
mine awoke, he said, What's this? I have a brand new head. His head was hungry, so he swallowed the nursing staff. The doctor followed. He jumped the ceiling out of habit. Yum, he thought. It tastes like rabbit. He even ate a pizza guy. And so, ten days passed quickly by. One stormy eve, Miss Devell said, Isn't it a fine... night to bother Frankenstein. <laughs> Visitors from two to four. a sign nailed to his door. The monsters gnawed the wood and then shouted out, We're coming in! In they stomped, they squealed, Sweet! For there around them at their feet were lots of yucky treats to eat. But what inspired the greatest ooze? There on his neck, two huge new screws. <laughs> Miss Devell, we want to stay. <laughs> but Miss Devell replied, no way! Home they trudged and bonked their heads, pulled out their teeth, and wet their beds. Bleak and dark and dismal night, Miss Devell turned on her light. And shouted, Something is not right! And hoping for no more disaster, Miss Devell ran fast and faster. she pleaded. Monsters, do tell me, what is troubling you? All the ugly monsters said nothing. Each had lost his head. Good night, monsters. Now you cannot whine and yell. I'm going back to sleep, said Miss Devell. And she turned out the light and slammed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. I said that's all there is. There is no more. Wait a minute!
you're leaving me in the laboratory? Where are our new heads? Where are our new screws? They all wanted to be like Frankenstein. That's the end of Frankenstein. See you next time. Be sure and like below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the story.